This video is the first video I remember uploading to YouTube. It was 2058 days ago. Hey guys, Alex here. I definitely did not know what I was doing, but it's kind of funny to look back on that. For as long as I can remember, using a camera or phone and filming to capture moments or try to tell stories has been a part of my life. Yet, just like a lot of creators that are starting out, I don't have the complete idea of what I want to create, but it's something I have got better at figuring out. So today I'm going to be sharing with you things that have worked for me. So if you don't know what you want to start creating a content about, this is the video for you. Create for yourself, not the views. Creating for yourself is really important and this allows you to be more long term with what you're doing online with creating content and things like this and even what you're passionate about creating about even if it's just for a filmmaker if you're creating wedding films just because you want to make money not with what you're interested in maybe that's something you should reconsider and maybe if you enjoy shooting commercials for companies maybe that's something you should do instead and the same with creating content online i wouldn't want to create content that is just based on metrics like i did when i started so now i'm just creating more what i'm passionate about but it's also about finding that balance as well because if you're making videos that nobody wants to watch, it's not really showing a purpose, so you have to find the correct balance with what you're doing. Don't worry about finding your niche. As I said, this is something I have not figured out myself, and that's something that I've just now accepted. And if you're in the same position, just try and accept that as well. Just start curating, going through the process of creating videos, or whatever you're doing, and that will lead you to just finding what, if you want to use the term niche, you want to make videos about. Because not creating and just thinking about what you want to do will not lead you to the best possible place. And just, you could be there for six months, one year, just thinking about it. And you could have gone so much further if you actually just started creating. When you look back at different curators, not only have they improved like dramatically over the years, but they've also found their voice and changed the content they've talked about. Yes, there are some that have just stuck with it, but then they have other people that have changed and adapted to what they want to do. Even when I look at my own work, when I look back at what I've done over the years, there's so much change in the types of things I was creating. And that, I guess all of that leads to the path of where I am now. Birds, wait till the end. This is basically a series where I'll be playing Angry Birds and finishing it off. I need to click the link in the description. That thumbs up the subscribe button. They're most likely to sell, and it's been working so good for me lately. It's really well. Season. This is a series about me. Why? Is a really amazing combination that we've seen all over the internet. Now I've already made a video on the PM Grid Challenge. I'll leave that in the description or somewhere up here. Here, I've got this whole window in front of me bringing the light onto my face, which this looks pretty good in my opinion. Best, the best budget YouTube equipment for 2019. On Saturday the 30th of January 2019, after posting this photo and not being pleased with the photo that I took and edited, I decided that I wanted to take part in a 30 day challenge of taking and posting a new photo every day. How the first 100 videos you create are just not that good. If you haven't, created anything before and you want to start creating there's these three questions that I'm going to tell you that I think you should ask yourself and think about you don't have to answer them immediately but try and figure out something from them see maybe that will lead you to a direction of what kind of videos you want to create one what hobbies do you enjoy doing two what topics can you spend countless of hours talking about three what topics can you imagine yourself talking about for years to come but most importantly try not to overthink what you're creating this is something that I've definitely done. And trying to ignore that and just trying to set yourself a deadline of creating something every week or every two weeks or every month or however often you want to create and put something out, making it a deadline to do that will just leave you a better place and hopefully help you stop overthinking what you are creating. If you wait until you're ready, then you'll never get started. Start making YouTube videos when you don't have a niche. Robbie, Yes, absolutely. It's what I'm doing now, to be honest. I don't have my niche yet. I definitely have umbrellas that I'm standing under, 
but I have no idea what type of videos I really wanna make here. This is a complete and total experiment. I'm just doing it on the record and I think you should too. There's this quote by Zach Arias, who's one of my favorite photographers of all time, and he says, if you wait until you're ready, then you'll never get started. If you try and overanalyze and wait to actually start making the things you wanna make until you're ready for it or until you think you have the ideas or the niche or whatever it is, there's a bigger chance you're never gonna get started. So you should use YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or whatever platform you wanna create on. Everything should be on the record. You should throw everything against the wall and see what sticks. When I heard this quote, it was like, it was a very big impact. It was from Babin's Instagram, from one of his Q and A's as you've just seen. And that was like, wow, I can just start and things will start to work themselves out. Sitting there in a room, thinking about what you wanna create won't really help compared to if you just start curating. There's also, there needs to be a time that you do think. Like, just think for an hour. Plan some stuff out and go. Try not to overthink it and just keep going. If you have no idea, of course you need to think and plan a bit, but don't overdo it. Just start going through the motions. Use what you have. You've probably heard gear matters and you've probably heard hundreds of times that gear does not matter. And yes, absolutely. It doesn't matter that much as you think. You can get your phone and a tripod and you can start curating with what you have. You don't need to get loads of fancy gear. You can literally just start. Like the first 50 videos you make, the first 100 videos you make will not be that good because you're probably finding your voice while you're doing that. So start going through the motions as this whole video is and just use what you have. Use your phone, go to a window, maybe even spend 50 quid on a Rode Video Micro because then you can always go use that on your camera once you get one after. If this is a half, you're still going down. So just start with what you have. Even if you have a camera, you might have one already. Use that. You don't need to go get the best of the best when you're starting out because you only need the best of the best when you are the best. That's why the best have the best. Create something that you're proud of and that you enjoy doing. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life? Do that. I promise you can monetize that shit. If you love ALF, do an ALF blog. You collect Smurfs, Smurf it up. Whatever you need to do, do it. I think what Gary Vaynerchuk said here was perfect. And I believe that curating and doing what you're passionate about and what you love is so much more important and is a massive part of the equation. I did not fully understand this till recently after I made like a certain amount of videos, but I was getting too caught up in the views. But now I realized it really doesn't mean that much because once you are good at what you do and you're creating what you're interested in, things should start to work themselves out and like views they like, really don't matter that much. Because like everyone started out, they had hardly any views and no attention, but it comes with time. It comes with time. I'm about to read a quote from Ira Glass. I heard this from an Instagram live stream from Nathaniel Drew and it's been very impactful for me and I hope it can be meaningful for you as well. Nobody tells us the people who are beginners. I wish someone told me. All of us who do creative work, we get into it because we have good taste, but there is this gap. The first couple of years you make stuff, it's just not that good. It's trying to be good. It has potential, but it's not. But your taste, the thing that got you into the game is still killer. And your taste is why your work disappoints you. A lot of people will never get past this phase. They quit. Most people I know who do interesting creative work and through years of this, we know our work doesn't have this special thing that we want it to have. We will go through this. And if you are just starting out or you are still in this phase, you've got to know it's normal. And the most important thing you can do is a lot of work. Put yourself on a deadline so that every week you will finish one story. It's only by going through a volume of work that you will close that gap and your work will be as good as your ambitions. And I took longer to figure out how to do this than anyone I've ever met. It's going to take a while it's normal to take a while. You just gotta fight your way through. When I heard this quote, it was a light bulb moment. I realized a lot of things, especially that when we look at other creatives work and we think we can do the same thing, when in reality we try to do it and it is no way near the same, it's because they have put years and years and years of work into what they're doing. No wonder they can do such a high quality thing that will create such high quality work. So I want to end this video with a challenge. Jump off YouTube, Grab whatever equipment you have, whether you have a phone or a camera or whatever, and just create something. But make sure it's something for yourself, not for the views. Thank you so much for watching. 
Um, you can follow my photography work and video work on Instagram. Newsletter, I will show share productivity tips and stuff like that over there. Um, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already, comment, all of that stuff. Oh, I'm also at a different place, if you see. I'm at university now studying business, so if you want to know any more stuff like that, chuck it down in the comments, might make some stuff. And yeah, Instagram's a good place to stay updated with all that stuff like that. So thanks for watching, I'll see you guys very soon.